Hi guys, and thank you for joining us for our most recent masterclass for Home by Nico, inspired by the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. I'll be taking you through step by step, showing you new techniques, how to plate it. I hope you enjoy. So our first dish is inspired by, through the story of Alice in Wonderland, is down the rabbit hole. So we've taken that inspiration and we've created a dish. So we've made a carrot panna cotta to make it look like a carrot. We've got a nice carrot mustard there. We've made a rabbit terrine and a black olive soil. So the magic from this dish really comes within the presentation. It's kind of playful and the flavours are nice and clean. It's a nice cold starter to start off the meal. First job for us is we just simply place at three o'clock the rabbit terrine and then we've made a black olive soil which is to almost represent the carrot coming out of the dirt then from there we just gently lift our carrot panna cotta we've got a wee bit of pickled celery which almost acts as a carrot top and then in this box we've given these wee bottles this will help with your presentation so the carrot mustard we just put in and for me this really lifts the dish, it's just used to season it. So be playful with it. Maybe about seven, eight small dots round the plate so that every mouthful you're getting a wee bit of this carrot mustard. And there you have it. Our first dish inspired by down the rabbit hole, a carrot panna cotta with rabbit terrine. So our next dish in the Mad Hatter's Tea Party menu is the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So, a very playful dish, be as creative as you want with your crockery. If you don't have a teapot or cups at home, it can just go just as nice as a broth in a bowl. We have a mushroom consomme, eh, a truffle tea bag, parmesan truffle royale, and wee mushroom palmier biscuits. So, very simple to cup. First thing what we've got to do is warm up our biscuits for two minutes in the oven. And then we have to gently heat up our consomme. What we've made here is we have made a truffle powder tea bag. So this is just to season the broth. So it simply goes in the teapot. As we warm up a broth, we just want to check the flavor of it. If it's too intense, we just dilute it with a wee bit of water until you're happy with the flavor. So for me, that is perfect. We just gently pour over the truffle tea bag and then that will just gently infuse into the soup. We then carefully take out our palmier biscuits, a parmesan truffle royale. Again, we've got these wee bottles in here for you. Just one nice one each, nice big dot. So once your biscuits are plated, you just serve the crockery at the table with the biscuits. Pour in that warm mushroom consomme infused with a truffle. And there you have your Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Enjoy. So our next dish is called Checkmate. Here the playfulness is the colours. We have, you know, squid ink pasta. We have a black garlic and squid ink sauce. So the idea is for that to be jet black. I recommend it gets served in a white bowl, and then we're going to cover that with a white olive oil powder and Parmesan cheese. When you dig into that pasta, you see like a white bed of olive oil and Parmesan, and then when you dig into it, it's that jet black pasta and sauce. This is the only course that requires a wee bit of knife skills. What we require you to do is to dice your shallots and chili. Quite simply, peel your shallot. I always keep the root on it as it holds the shallot together. So a wee bit of olive oil in the pan. Gently sweat that down. Then with your chilli, simply just take half of it. Go right through so we can take out the seeds. And from there we're just going to thinly slice the chillies. And they simply go into here with the pasta. So once that's gently cooked out, we're going to add in our black garlic and squid ink sauce. And just gently fold that in. And then just take off the heat, ready for the pasta. Then 
a nice pot of salted boiling water. We just gently drop in our squid ink pasta. Then, because it's fresh pasta, it should only take about one and a half, two minutes to cook. Once that's cooked, you just take it out and add to our sauce. And just gently keep moving the pasta, making sure all that sauce reduces down and clings to the pasta. And to play up, just very simply, plate up the pasta in the bowl. Then from there, just sprinkle and season it first the Parmesan cheese. And then finally, we want to cover it with the olive oil crumb. The idea is we don't want to see any of that pasta underneath. And then there you have it. Our course of checkmate, which is a black garlic squid ink pasta with Parmesan and olive oil powder. So the first and main course is called I'm late for a very important date. What we have here is a stuffed date wrapped in pancetta. We have a chicken ballotine. We have flavours of red pepper. We have a red pepper ketchup and some chorizo. And again, this dish with the plating up, you know, we're going to plate it up like the time, the clock, because if you're late, it's a wee bit fun, a wee bit of cooking involved. So yeah, let's get cracking. So first of all, we need a medium hot frying pan, a wee touch of olive oil in the pan. And then we just gently start to caramelise off our chicken balotine. So get both of these in. As that's gently caramelising off, we'll get our red pepper, pepperad. We'll put it into our wee pot and just gently start to warm that up. So we just caramelise this on all sides. Then once we have nice caramelisation, as you can see, that we're getting here. We then add in our stuffed date and add in our chorizo. And again, just caramelizing that date all the way around. And then we just pop that in the oven for four to five minutes to warm through. So once we have everything nicely caramelized off and it's been roasted in the oven, just gently put it on a wee tray to rest. Our pepper at this stage is nice and warm and now we are ready to plate. So this is a fun dish to plate up. You can have it set at any time you want. So we triangle. Just like so. We then do a quenelle. So with the pepperad, we pick it up and you just shape it with the spoon. I'll just go down there. So then from there, we'll put our date, our chicken balantine, followed by our chorizo. A wee dot just on top of the chicken balantine. And there you have it guys. Late for a very important date. So our final main course dish is off with your head. So what we have here is a pig's head croquette. So we've slow cooked them, picked all the meat, set a wee terrine and then just crisped it up and made a wee croquette. We've got some black pudding, potato rosti, a warm apple sauce, some warm and douya sauce, and then these lovely wee baby apples to garnish. So, first of all, a nice medium hot pan. Some olive oil into it. And then we want to start off with the pig's head croquettes. And we want to hear that noise. Just control the heat, take it off the pan if you need. But we just want to gently caramelise this pig's head all the way around. And once we've caramelised that all the way around, we want to add in our potato rosti. Again, just caramelise one side of that. Keep everything moving gently in the pan. 
And this will take about four or five minutes, but it's so important here to control the heat on and off because we don't want anything to burn. And we just want to gently warm it through so it warms the center. And then from there, at the very end, we just add our black pudding. And same again, a wee bit more oil. Now that's been three, four minutes. You can tell the pork croquette is getting nice and warm because it's softening up. The black pudding is seared all sides. There's a lovely colour on the rosti. Then the last minute, you just want to warm through these wee baby apples. Just turn that off, let it sit in a warm pan and heat up our puree and our sauce. So, very simply, just warm these both up. And then we'll just gently remove everything onto a plate. As you can see those rosties are beautifully coloured and these beautiful baby apples. There is no strict presentation with this dish. So what I like to do is with the apple sauce just Sauce the plate, we then lift up our pig croquette, our terrine, our black pudding and apple, and then just before we go to serve to the guests, straight in the middle of the plate, our warm and do your sauce. And there you have it. Off with your head, our pig's head terrine with black pudding, baby apple, warm apple sauce and potato rosti. Hope you enjoy guys. So guys, it's finally the dessert of the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. It's been a long menu, so we've made the dessert extra easy for you. It's all built into one, so what we have is a queen of hearts. So, just here, get simply placed on the plate. And what we have in there is a chocolate sponge, a white chocolate mousse, and it's also got a raspberry coulis inside it. So as soon as you crack open that white chocolate shell, it should ooze out. Very delicious. Just gets topped with a wee bit of raspberry sherbet. And that's it, guys. Our final course in the Mad Hatters. Enjoy. So guys, thank you so much for joining us for our Mad Hatter Tea Party experience. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was enjoyable for your guests, your partner that joined you. A bit of theatrical in the table, conversation points, and most importantly, tasty food. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you.